What is up guys, Swamid here from TechnoHD and I was not willing to buy this phone but after watching its features and its price, it tempted me to buy this phone. So you are here watching the review for the Nokia 6.1 Plus, so sit back and keep watching. After opening the box, we get the handset itself wrapped in the plastic covering. You can have a first glance at the phone. Let me just remove the plastic covering. After removing the plastic covering, you can have a first glance. You can see how the phone looks. It looks very glossy and its build quality is awesome. And the black variant is looking very cool. Below the handset, we get the SIM card ejecting tool, which is the most important in a phone box. Below the SIM card ejecting tool, we get the Nokia paper stuff and it's written on it that the Nokia support app is preloaded on the phone. There is another box in which you get the power dongle which is a 10 watt fast charger. Inside that box you also get the USB type C charging cable and earphones which have a 3.5 mm headphone jack. This phone is powered by Android 1, it comes with the latest stock Android version 9, it has Qualcomm Snapdragon 713 processor and it has a display of 5.80 inch with a resolution of 1080 into 2280 pixels. This version of this phone comes with a 6 GB of RAM and a 64 GB of storage. From the first day of the use, the experience of this phone was outstanding. The build quality of this phone was so awesome that wherever I took it, it caught the eye of everybody. I used this phone as my daily driver for around a week and the results were pretty awesome. It took around 30 minutes to charge from 10% to 98% uh, and it lasted for around 3 days while I was not playing any games on this phone but using it for my checking emails, for ch watching videos on YouTube. So this phone was pretty awesome when I was not playing games and just doing a pretty office work. While playing games such as PUBG and Asphalt 9, the games didn't hang nor they were rough, they were smooth as expected from a 6GB of RAM. As far as the display is concerned, I told you about the pixels, it has a 1080 into 2280 pixels and the videos were pretty good on the phone, it, they looked good, the color was good and overall the display was awesome. Look wise it gave the tough competition to the Oppo F11 Pro but I think uh, the Nokia 6.1 Plus was better than Oppo F11 Pro. As far as the talk time is concerned, the Nokia 6.1 Plus gave an 8 hours of talk time. Uh, on a charge of 30 minutes. Taking a look at the notch of this phone, this notch is not permanent. It can be removed from the display menu of the phone by just clicking on the hide notch option. The phone comes with a hybrid SIM slot and it supports the USB Type-C cable. Most interesting thing about the display of this phone is that the display adjusts according to the theme or the wallpaper you have applied. If the wallpaper or the theme is darker then the display would also be darker and the wallpaper or theme is lighter then the display would also be lighter. The cameras of this phone are really awesome. You can have a look at some of the samples clipped from the cameras of this phone at different modes. The price of this phone was unbelievable. A phone with a 6GB of RAM and a 64GB of storage is just retailing at a price of 15,000 rupees. It is a considerable battery of 4000 mAh. As far as the design is concerned, at the back side we get dual rear camera and a dual tone flash. Below that we get the fingerprint scanner. Below that we get the Nokia branding. And below that we get some details about the manufacturing. At the right side we get the volume rockers and the power off and on button. At the left side we get the SIM card slot. At the bottom we get the USB Type-C charging port and stereo speakers. At the top we get the 3.0 
5 mm headphone jack and a mic at the front side we get a selfie camera and a removable notch at the down front we get the nokia branding as far as the cameras are concerned we get a 16 megapixel selfie camera and a 16 plus 5 megapixel rear camera setting up the phone was really easy you just need a gmail id and a sim and a wi-fi network for setting up the phone it is running on the latest stock android version 9 with a promise of two years of latest updates from google on quality of the speakers of this phone is really awesome the upcoming audio would be from the speakers The camera of this phone provides a lot of features like the square mode, the bokeh mode, the pro mode, the photo, the video, the time lapse, slow motion and the most interesting thing about the camera of this phone that it provides a feature in which you can use the selfie camera and the rear camera at the same time as you can see on the screen which makes the working on this phone with the camera much easier and more sorted. According to me, this was the best phone I have ever used under 15,000 rupees as far as its build quality is concerned, its battery, its performance, everything was good. The camera is classy and I think this phone can be, you know, used for uh, doing uh, the business stuff like if you're uh, using Word on phone, your PDF, your Gmail. But it, this phone is not meant for uh, heavy gaming. Uh, but I think you should buy this phone if you're looking for uh, a second handset for just uh, checking mails uh, and, you know, uh, checking your pdf files and etc and etc et so i think this phone has something for which it could be sold in the market and i look forward to see you in my next video till then bye bye okay guys so that's it for this video so this was the nokia 6.1 plus and i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any queries regarding the nokia 6.1 plus then you can feel free to ask me in the comment section below and i would try to uh, reply to all of your comments till then peace Love you all. Bye-bye. This is Techno Entity signing off.